not many people get the chance to live out their childhood dream, except one Catonsville native already has. Last year, Audrey Powers got the opportunity to see space on board Blue Origin's New Shepherd. And although she doesn't take the experience for granted, she hopes it shows other young girls what they could one day achieve. And joining us now is Audrey Power. She's from Blue Origin. I want to get your title right. Vice President of Mission and Flight Operations. How are you? That's right. I'm great. Thanks. Nice to meet you. You know, th there's so many milestones that we want to get to and just to sort of talk about uh, how it's changed for women in space travel. But let's talk about you at first, because uh, back in October, that was a heck of a month for you. It, it was. <laughs> it was a month of a lifetime for sure. <laughs> Tell us about the launch and what that was about. You went up on a mission with Blue Origin, even had William Shatner with you. Uh, just a cool right. adventure. It, it was, and I've I've been at Blue for uh, over eight years, and I've worked on this program the entire time, the New Shepherd program. So uh, I was I was um, asked to represent our our team and our employees, and and be the first uh, employee astronaut uh, on on New Shepherd. So it was absolutely. Um, unexpected and it was thrilling and it was uh, it was quite an experience to fly on this vehicle that we've um, we've all been working on for so long. Uh, just absolutely a thrill. I, I, when I think of space flight and I think of women, uh, Mae Jemison comes to mind, Sally Ride comes to mind, uh, and, and times have really, I mean, changed. It, I mean, the barriers were still pretty high for them and I'm curious, you know, as you talk to women in the industry, what's it like right now? Mm -hmm. Well, it has, I, I've worked in this industry over 20 years and it's come a long way uh, in, in that time period. And I think um, I, I think of a lot of the same people when, when I think about the progress that we've made. And I think a, a great example in, in our Blue Origin world is um, Wally Funk, who we flew on our yeah. first our, our first flight with humans back in July of last year, and she was absolutely um, an aviation pioneer um, and a, a space flight pioneer. Um, never got to fly with NASA, um, you know, 60 years ago during the Apollo program because um, she was a woman, and they weren't flying women at that time. Um, she went through all of the astronaut training, and and we were lucky enough to fly her um, in July of last year. And I think the industry responded to that in such in such a positive way way and and felt so great that this person who had kind of watched you know the the progress and been such a trailblazer for so many of us um finally got to fly so i think um nasa is doing a lot of positive things with with the artemis program and and really being pointed about um flying women to the moon and and on these um these further exploration programs. So I think we're we're all we're all getting there. Uh, we're all getting yeah. there together. <laughs> and, and part of it, I think, uh, a big deal is being able uh, for a young person to find someone who is doing something that they enjoy. So to yeah. see you, I'm sure that there are young ladies at Mount DeSales, your alma mater, who are like, well, if she can do it, I can. It, how important yeah. is modeling, do you think, um, when it comes to space flight? Well, I, I, and it's odd that I didn't think of myself that way. Although when I was younger, I, I looked at many of the people, you know, that you just mentioned, Sally Ride and, and the, the, the women who came before me. And as I was getting into um, my engineering roles at, at NASA, and then um, even in, when I became a lawyer, um, it, you know, I had a lot of role models like that, that I was looking, and you're exactly right, seeing people who look like you, who sound like you, who are from the same places that you're from, um, went to the same schools, I, I think it's very important, and that was very much the reception that I got at, at Mount DeSales um, mm. when, I, when I visited there last month, and it was kind of this full circle moment to have them talking to me and think i remember when i was sitting in those seats and, sure. and asking other women about what they had done so I, I i think you're spot on it's it's so it's so important for um for us to be to be models to them and to get back and talk to them and say you know how do you want to do it and this is how i did it and what opportunities are there for you yep uh, got about a minute left and i'm curious of how impressed you are when you say the word space tourism because if you said it to me as a kid yeah. i would have said ain't no way there's no chance that people yeah. just go for the heck of it uh this is a yeah. specialized group but now you know it is possible it is and i think um that's what we're seeing now in the industry and and with what we're doing on new shepherd it's it's a different offering than what people have seen in the past. It's a different type of astronaut. And if you think of an astronaut as a person who explores space, 
there are a lot of different ways to do that. Um, it can be the shuttle program model where you go for a week. It can be the space station model where you go for a year mm. and you live up there and work. And now we have this offering where you can just get a taste of it. You know, you can train for a couple of days and you can go on this 15 minute space flight and you can see the earth from space. And I think we're changing what it means to, to travel to space. And it's providing that opportunity for a lot more, a lot more people, people who never thought they would go live on the space station for, for a year, um, very much would do what I did and, and go just get a taste of it. So it's, it's exciting, I think. And if folks want to see the excitement again, the 29th is when you do it all over again. Yeah. That's right. Yep. The 29th. That's what we're, that's what we're aiming for. We're looking forward to it. Audrey Powers, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.